Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini. Tonight I like to do an animal that everyone's familiar with. You've probably been on a whale watch before and I want to show you how to make a humpback whale. And I'll show you how to do that from start to finish. What I like about the humpback whale is they get these huge like white flippers and they almost look like wings underwater. But I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. It, uh, this is the one I always used to use all the time as a kid, and uh, you know it's a very good clay. And when you get bored, when I got bored with the items I made, I just made new ones and rolled them up. Another type of clay you can use an air hardening clay, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. You can take and then uh, you can paint this afterward. My preference for the clay is usually super sculpy, but tonight and to, instead of using just super sculpy, we're going to use uh, take it a step further. We're going to take and use the Sculpey 3, which is the colored version of the Sculpey. And we're going to be using white. We're going to be using elephant gray. And we are going to be using a little bit of black. So I already have this opened up, and we're using that for the eyes. I'll show you what we need. And the also, we're going to take two of these Sculpey 3s, and that's what we're going to use for the body. And then... For the flippers, you can see my hand right here. We have the, the white balls there. And then I have a couple of pieces of wire that I'm going to insert inside the flippers to make sure that they, um, they stay attached to the whale. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Sculpey 3. And I'll show you. We're going to make the body with this. What I love about this clay is it's very easy to... Um, knead and roll up into a ball very quickly. See this? Just squeeze that. And you already have it in a nice little ball. And then we're going to do the same thing. I'll open this up. And see how quick I did that? The regular sculpt is a little harder to do that with. so. But now I'm going to put these two together, like that, just like that. You knead them together. And now what I want to do is I want to show you the part that we're going to make is we're going to make the entire body of the whale here. I'm going to show you how to make the, using the same piece of clay, I'm going to show you how to make the tails or the flukes on the whale. And this, he's going to have a little fin right here, and I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy to do. We're going to take this clay now, and we're going to make the shape of the body. So what I'm doing is I'm working on the head right now. And what you see is, see how I'm almost making like, it's a little, almost like a pointed snout. So we, we just work the clay like that. And then I'm going to round it out a little bit in the front. Like that. Now, I'll show you. See how I made, sculpted that form? This part here is going to be the head, and then this is going to be the tail. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you we're going to take and pull out a little piece of clay on the side like that. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. See how we're, we're taking that and we're pulling the clay out? Just like that. See how we created those like that? So what I want to do is now I'm going to start to make the tail. So what I'm going to do is flatten this out with my fingers. See how I'm flattening that out? And then what I'm going to do is flip it over. I'm going to flatten this out too on this side. Just see how I'm flattening that out? But now the shape, we're going to try to start to shape this. So see the shape that I'm creating here? I'm going to take the tip of the tail right here and kind of 
pull out a little point like that. See, I'm pulling that out. You can see it better that way. And then what we're going to do is I'll flip this, do the same thing on the other side. And you can see I've taken a, pull a little point out there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin this out here a little bit. So I'm just going to smooth this over a little bit. I want to make sure. Just like that. And then, see how I sculpted that? That's the shape that you want to sculpt it into. Just like that. Now I'm going to get a toothpick, and we want to make a little indentation right here. I'm going to put it right in the center. See how we did that? And now, what we're going to do is I'm going to lengthen the body a little bit. Just like that. And then, approximately right here, I'm going to take and I'm going to pull up the clay a little bit. Pinch it this way, then pinch it this way. See how that's starting to, I'm starting to raise that? And you pinch it both ways, like that. And that's like a little dorsal fin on the back of the whale. And then we'll make this a little flatter. See how I'm doing that? Make that a little flatter. Just like that. And now what I want to do is I want to smooth the whale out a little bit. So I'm going to take my thumb, see this? And just kind of go like that. Because I want to, I want to smooth it out. And I'm going to go all around the whale like that. The humpback whale. I'm going to smooth it out nicely. Just like that. Just like that. We're going to smooth it out. Just like that. See, I'm just smoothing out. Just like that. See how, we, see how we're doing that? Just smooth it out nice. Now, I'm going to look at this. And we want to make the mouth. And I'll show you, I'll use my model here. We're going to take, see this line you see right here for the mouth? It kind of goes down, goes all the way around. We're going to make the mouth. I'm going to take a toothpick and do that. And then after we do that, I'm going to make the blowhole, which is up above here. That's how the whale breathes. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take I'm going to take this here, the toothpick. See that? And go like this. And then come down like that. See we made that line? We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go around here. I'm going to just, I want to, I'm going to make myself a little mark here, and I'll, I'll eliminate it in a minute. I just want to know how far I need to go. So I'm going to take and go like this. See this? And then go down like that. See how we did that? Because we want to make it show that they're approximately the same size. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take 
and make like a little area for the eye. See this? I'm going to take that and kind of go like that. So I just made that. And then we're going to proceed to do the same thing on the other side. Right there. Make the eye. And then we're going to proceed to make the blowhole up here. So what I'm going to do is take and I'm going to pinch a little bit of the clay. See, I'm pinching that like that. I'm pinching it. We want it a little bit raised. See how I did that? You can see it more from the... See how I did that? And what we're going to do is they usually have a couple of... The blowhole is like a couple of indentations. You go like that. And you go like that. Another thing we want to do is, I'll show you on the model here, I'll pick it up. We want to make lines underneath the whale, like that, and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take our toothpick, and we're going to start to make some lines like this. See this, how we're doing this? See how I did that? We're going to take bring it probably about halfway down the length of the whale. So I'm doing that. Just like that. And then I'm going to up here We're going to take and kind of do the same thing up here. So I'm doing that. Just like that. See how we did that? And now, what I'd like to do is I want to get a couple of pieces of black clay. I have one black clay right here. And I'm just going to take some, some very small pieces off. And I'll show you. I'll put them down here. Once I roll them up, roll them into a little ball. And I think the easiest way to do is put it right there. Now you can see them. You can see my hand. So they are very small. We're going to take each one of these. Where I made those eye sockets, we're going to place a black, the black clay into one of them. Like that. And then we're going to turn around and do the other side. We're going to, I'm going to put that in the other side. So I did that. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to make the giant white flippers. And I'll show you how to do that. And we're going to make two of these. We're going to make one for each side. And then what we're going to do is also put like little indentations in the side. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to take the ball. And what I'm going to do is, you see me flattening this out with my fingers? So what I want to do is flatten that out. But now I want to start to make that shape of the flipper. So see that? I'm going to start to make a little, like a little point up there. And then I make it a little narrower here. See? See the shape that I'm making? So you, you, you're flattening it out, but then you're also taking your fingers and kind of shaping it in this shape right here. See I'm doing that? Just like that. Just like that. See how we're doing that? Now we'll proceed to do the other flipper in the same manner. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to take this. 
to take the ball of clay, flatten it. Say we're flattening it. Just like that. And then, we, and then you take and you shape it like we did the other one. See, I'm shaping it with my fingers. That way. And then you, you f go the other way and you, you flatten it out a little more. Just like that. So we just do that. See how, see how we're getting that nice shape of the flipper? Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to the other one. I want to see that they're roughly the same size. This one here, I'm just going to flatten it a little more. I want to make them, I want to make them equal in size. So say they're approximately the same size, which they should be. I'm just going to make this one a little bigger. So now we're done with that. Now what I want to do is I also want to show you we're going to make little indentations on the side because I'm going to take the toothpick and kind of go like that. See how I'm doing that? And we're going to take and flip it over and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Just like that. And now I'll proceed to do the same thing for the other one. As you can see, we're going to go like that. See? Just a slight indentation, like that. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. See how, see how I did that? Now we're going to take our wire that I have here, and we're going to insert it into each flipper. So this wire that I have here, this will help it stabilize it so when we put it into the whale, it, will, it won't come out again. So I'll put that in like that. See how I did that? And then I'm going to put that on the side of the whale right there. See how we did that? And I'll proceed to do the same thing for the other side. You just get the piece of wire, take the piece of wire, insert it in here. Like that. And you just leave a little bit still protruding outside like that. And we're going to take this and I'm going to put that right about there, see? Just like that. See how that looks? And I'm just going to kind of push that up against the side of the whale. I want to make sure that it sticks. And that's what you have for a final version. That's basically how to make the whale. And I'll show you what the final version will look like once it's fired. And we'll put that down. This is the final version of the whale once it's completed and it's been fired in the oven. And see how that? You get the nice lines underneath, the blowhole at the top the tail, and I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay tonight, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.